Hey guys, some of you may have upgraded to 4.1 version of Silhouette, and if you did, you notice that there are a lot of changes. So of course, everyone who's made awesome tutorials has to redo them based on what it looks like now. Now my tutorial on how to trace images of a real person have over 100,000 views, and now it may seem a little confusing to new people because it doesn't look the same. So I'm going to do another tutorial, hopefully to help you and guide you through this. It's pretty basic. My original video that I made was with a black and white image of Britney Spears. It's pretty, pretty popular on some of the groups and helpful. Today, I don't know where that picture is. I obviously deleted it after I used it because I don't need a picture of Britney Spears. So today I went and found one of Demi Lovato. You want to make your image in black and white because this is the easiest for the program to trace. Now over here on your right, one, two, three, four, five down, is it's supposed to be, I believe, a butterfly. It kind of looks like a piece of toast. That's your tracing section. So you want to click that and click Select Trace Area. Then you want to take your mouse in the far left top corner and scroll down to your far bottom right corner and now you have an image. Now the new way that the trace works is that it's already on your threshold and your high pass filter is already off which is awesome because 99.9% .9 of the time when you're tracing something you don't need the high pass filter on and it was always on before so it confused a lot of newbies so this is helpful. So now you want to hit your trace button if it looks right. Now the way you can tell if it looks right is if most of your image is yellow. And as you can see, most of my image is yellow. This is where it can read all of the black spots in the image. That's why we tell you to make your images black and white because it is so much easier for the program to read. So I'm going to hit click this and hit trace. Now if I move my original photo, you can see the red lines. The red lines is everywhere that the silhouette machine is going to cut. So anything that is red is where it's going to cut. Now you can see how it's going to fully look in your vinyl, cardstock, whatever, if you fill it with color. And I always suggest filling it with the color that you're going to use so you can see how the finished product will look. So three down is our little paint palette and I'm going to fill color with black because normally if you're going to do something like this, it's best to do it in black vinyl. Now you can see that she does look pretty similar but there are things missing from this image to make it great. And as you can see in her nose, we've lost a great portion of it because the lines are gray and hard for the cameo to read. So what we're going to do is move this cut, take the regular photo, go back to our trace option and trace again. And you can trace an image as many times as you want. And when doing this, you're going to create a more complex image, which works better for what you're trying to do. You want to make sure that you, your customer, whomever you're giving this to, knows what it is once it's cut in the vinyl. So with this one, I'm going to bring my threshold down to about a 42, and I'm going to move the high pass filter. Now see how it's lightened? and all the black is not so dark anymore and it's in this not in this yellow just some of it is now this is where you're gonna have to play with it and go with what you feel is best if we go down a little we lose a little more lines if we go up a little we gain a little more lines I like how there's more white in her eye there's this mark in her nose is more defined in her nose a little more in her ear to define the ear a little bit more so I'm gonna go ahead and hit trace and I'll see what happens we'll move the original Demi again these are your cut lines and we're going to fill with color so now I'm gonna take my first trace place it on top of my second trace and line it up as best as possible to do the best 
lineup. I like to check in the eyes because that's usually where it's the clearest. We'll back out now. A little too much, but hey, whatever. Highlight both, right click, and you want to hit weld. This makes it all one image. Now, if you have these little bits, this is a great time to just highlight and delete because it's all separate. It's not all pieced together as one. Because if you take your eraser, it'll take eight days because the computer is going to have to think and it doesn't want to do all that. It's just really more of a pain on the machine and the program. Let's take these two little, oops, we want that one back, so I'm going to hit reverse or undo the tiny one out. And now I'm going to back up again. And then I'm going to highlight, right click, and group so everything moves as one piece. And just so you can see it without the cut lines in it, I'm going to go four down to our line style panel. I'm going to click the colored lines here, and I'm going to click that crossing right here that's transparent. So now I can see the image without the cut lines, which FYI, if you're sending an image to a customer, it's best to do it this way because they're going to be like, I don't, that looks great, but I don't want the red lines in it. Well, now the red lines aren't there. So that's a quick tutorial on how I trace. There are hundreds of different ways and different ways that everybody does this. Do whatever feels best for you. Practice, practice, practice. And once you do that, you'll be great at tracing too. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my page. Hope to see you again soon.